What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to see if the $2,000 Tesla acceleration boost is worth the money. So if you don't know what the acceleration boost is, Tesla offers a software update for $2,000 on their long range Model 3 and Model Y models. And it basically increases top end power by a lot. You maybe have seen drag races online between performance models and these acceleration boosted models and it's quite close. Today we're going to analyze their power curves, do some head to head drag races and see how fast they are. The first thing I'm going to do is show you a simulated drag race with the Model 3 long range on top and the acceleration boosted version on bottom. So this will be a quarter mile from a dig. We're going to see the 0 to 60 time differences and the quarter mile time differences. So off the bat we can see the acceleration boost is much faster off the line coming in with about a three and a half second 0 to 60 versus four seconds flat. And in the quarter mile, we see into the 11 second range. So 11.8 at 117 versus 12.4 at 112 and a half on the long range model. So that should give you an idea of what the acceleration boost looks like to the stock version of the car. Now we're going to look at the Model 3 performance and we're going to see how does the acceleration boosted long range compare with it. The performance still launches much harder, so we get a 0 to 60 time of around 3 seconds flat with rollout subtracted versus 3.5 in the long range, but still pretty close. And in the quarter mile, we get 11.44 versus about 11.8 at both 117 miles an hour. So you can see the top ends of these cars are quite similar. Let's check out a rolling race and see how similar they really are. So the rolling race is set up. It's going to start at 50 miles an hour and it's going to go a half mile. We have the acceleration boost on top, performance on bottom. And as you can see right off the bat, they're pretty much identical. The performance gets the tiniest little hit, but otherwise they stay exactly the same. Um, state of charge, weight in the car is going to play a much bigger factor than anything else in this race. But luckily the parameters are identical, so they both have 90% state of charge and same curb weights. Look at that. So 60 to 130 exactly the same time at right around 12 seconds. So just to round the video out, I've set up a drag race with all three versions of the car. We can see the long range on top, acceleration boost in middle and performance on the bottom. And we can see the results that we saw earlier. You can almost draw a straight line through the cars. It's pretty cool there. There's a nice gap and boom, we already went through the results, but there they are again. My personal opinion is the $2,000 acceleration boost is worth the money. Obviously, it depends what your priorities are. There's people that modify their ICE cars and spend thousands and thousands for gains that are less than these. So relatively speaking, I think it's a good value. You're talking about an 11 second quarter mile and zero to 60 times in the mid threes. It's pretty impressive. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you want to check out these simulations for yourself, you can go to motormatchup.com and race any of these cars against each other. If you're wondering how the simulation works, I do have some videos that go into more detail, but it's all physics based. So it takes into account rolling resistance, air resistance, weight of the car, gearing, a lot of other variables. So the results are pretty accurate. So I hope you guys like the video. If you have suggestions on new videos or matchups you want to see, let me know down below. I'll see you guys next time.